In the last class of this week, we had discussed certain aspects of three weather course. In this class, we like to discuss the crop production risk and their management. Here, in the last week, we had a discussion about uh, climate and weather. Now, I like to focus on these two terminologies with reference to crops. In the climate of a particular area selects a particular crop to come up very well. So, climate it is major like an umbrella, it selects a particular crop. For example, apple in temperate countries. So, selection of a particular crop is done by the climate. The apple may not come in the plain areas of semi-arid climate or arid climate or subhumid climate. So, the climate selects a particular crop and the production of the selected crop is influenced by the weather that prevails within the climate. So, this is the climate, here you have the weather. Climate selects, the weather influences productivity. So, under open conditions, there is greater risk of for crop production. I can say that you will be discussing about weather variability, rainfall variability. If you examine the parameter rainfall and the temperature, the weather variability with reference to rainfall is would be more, more than 30 percent the coefficient of variation. For in the case of the temperature, it must be lesser than uh, 20 percent CV. The variability is a very greater for rainfall. So, as a result, the production is getting varied. That I call it as a uh, risk. Since uh, the, we cannot control whether it is beyond the human control, weather cannot be controlled or your climate cannot be controlled, it is all beyond our control. We have to adapt to, uh, to this uh, climate and uh, weather, for that we have to do certain strategies. Now, crop production risk must be defined. Risk according to economics, risk is defined as the quantum of physical, I say physical output against 3 tonnes per hectare, we get 1 ton per hectare, so physical loss. And the economical crop production losses against 10,000 rupees, we get 2,000 rupees. So, risk is defined as the quantum of physical and economical crop production losses with events, maybe drought, maybe flood, that are the events of probability in occurrence. How, what is the probability of occurring drought? Maybe 40 percent in a particular area, maybe a 90 percent in a particular area. There are two terminologies with reference to drought. One is drought prune area, another one is drought affected area. In the case of the drought prune area, it is endemic area for drought, always drought, nothing. So, the production is always loss. But in the case of the drought affected area, drought may visit once in four years, three years, those has to be predicted and we have to manage very well to reduce the crop production risk. Now, based on our knowledge and literature knowledge, the crop production risks are divided into inherited risk, transferable risk and the crop management risk and is given as risk that can be minimized through technology introduction. So, inherited risk, transferable risk and the crop management risk. Let us examine one by one. Now, the inherited risks, I have given some examples. Inherited, it exists over years, over generations. Generation means normally in India we take 25 years. Over, over generation, maybe seven generation or eight generation or historically more than 1000 years, the soil is either sodium or saline or marginal. So, inherited, it can't be changed. If you want to change this um, uh, risk, you have to spend more, can be changed through technology, but uh, the, it is not cost effective, it is highly cost. So, the crop production loss with this uh, inherited risk would be 30 percent for this example, that is saline soil, sodium soil or marginal soil. Then another one is dry land agriculture risk. As we discussed earlier, 
drain land depends on rainfall. If rain have different uh, mode of operation, you may have continuous wet spell, you may have continuous dry spell or you may have intermittent dry spell between two wet spells. So, these are going to affect your crop production. So, dry land agriculture, we have a inherited risk of 40 percent unless it is being brought under irrigation through your river linking process. Anumandar Rao and Professor Swaminathan in their committees, they have recommended that river linking must be given to dry land area so as to bring higher production to solve uh, the food related problems. So, those have to be thought very well. Then another one is conventional farming risk. Conventional farming risk means resource poor farmers, they go for lower input because of their research that also carries some quantity of risk that is 30 percent. So, soil related risk also integrated risk, it carries 30 percent crop production loss. Rail and agriculture risk is also integrated risk that carries 40 percent crop production loss. Conventional farming risk also inherited risk that carries 30 percent yield loss. Then coming to the transferable risk, the risk can be transferred. For example, I am with risk, I want to transfer my risk to my wife or my mother or something else. So, she takes care of that risk and manages very well. In the case of the agriculture, the transferable risk is going for crop insurance. The farmers considering the your uh, weather risk, they go for uh, insurance registered by themselves paying some premium, they transfer the risk to the other companies or other organization. One is drought that carries the crop production loss 60 to 100 percent. Another one is flood 100 percent, flood means 100 percent yield loss. Then dry spell more than 15 days based on the crop stages uh, 40 to 60 percent. Wet spell more than 50 days, 60 to 80 percent, pest and disease outbreak, 30 to 40 percent, cyclone, 80 to 100 percent, hail storm, 60 percent, abnormal wind speed, banana sugar cane that we discussed last week, 80 to 100 percent. These are all transferable risks. You can register with the crop insurance company so that this risk could be minimized properly. And the third one is your crop management risk or risk can be minimized by technology introduction. So, if you want to, do not want to go for non-adoption of timely sowing, for example, in India wheat is being sown by your November. If you sow by December means your yield will be is going to be affected by the weather components. So, this is carries a 30 percent crop production loss. Poor wheat control, nobody bothers, yeah, let it comes, then the yield loss would be 30 percent. Non-adoption of plant protection as a thing, you say that I do not want to adopt uh, uh, plant protection, let the pest comes and go, whatever I get I will harvest. This, this carries about 30 percent crop production loss and unsustainable soil fertility management. We are not properly ba applying balanced fertilizer or uh, the recommended fertilizer, then automatically it carries a crop production loss of 30 percent. Now, how to manage this risk? We were uh, knowing about the three types of risk, inherited risk, transferable risk and uh, your crop production management risk. So, inherited risk means uh, it is already existing over years, historically it is there. So, if you want to improve it, go for land improvement, it is much expensive. Then transferable risk, you are uh, registering yourself for um, your insurance company and also you take some weather based farm decisions. That is very limited See, through contingency plan. When we were discussing about uh, your weather codes, we, I was saying that contingency planning that also can be done in the absence of the crop insurance uh, program, but may not be successful. You must go for crop insurance for having the transferable risk. And the crop production risks, you have to go for integrated crop management, integrated pest management, integrated weed management integrated water management. Why not all components of the crop production management must be adopted so that this quantity of risk can be minimized. We cannot avoid 100 percent risk. We can reduce the risk. That is the strategy I have given here. Thank you very much. This is very important uh, class. See crop production risks because for uh, taking weather based uh, agro advisories, you have to consider the crop production risks uh, at a greatest level. 
So we will be discussing some more things in the next class. Thank you very much.